We are at Bridger Bay Beach on Antelope Island. Behind us is Great Salt Lake. And one of the number one questions that we're asked out here is why is this lake so salty? Uh, the reason it's so salty is Great Salt Lake is a terminal lake. And what that means is we have uh, rivers that flow into Great Salt Lake, three major rivers, but no rivers or streams taking water out of the lake. The only way that moisture or water is able to leave Great Salt Lake is through evaporation. Uh, those three main rivers that are coming through, we have uh, the Jordan River that comes up through the Salt Lake Valley, uh, the Ogden we and Weber Rivers uh, come in from the east, and then the Bear River that comes down uh, from the north. All of those are freshwater rivers, uh, but they come with just trace minerals, trace amounts of salt and magnesium and other things that are deposited into Great Salt Lake. Now, the water has to evaporate to get out. That's the way it leaves, but minerals don't evaporate. And so over thousands of years of this process of this fresh water coming in and evaporating, uh, we have built up an incredible amount of salt. Now, it's not dead. Uh, a lot of folks call Great Salt Lake America's Dead Sea, and that's not accurate. It is teeming with life if you look closely. Uh, we have brine shrimp, uh, which we'll talk a little bit about in another video, uh, but brine fly larvae, uh, their beginning stages of the brine fly's life are in Great Salt Lake. And then the bacteria and algae that those critters uh, survive on is, is also in the lake. So it is full of life. It's too salty to support any fish, however. Uh, depending on where you are in Great Salt Lake, your salinity level will be between 7 and 28 percent salinity. If you compare that with the ocean, which is about three, three and a half, you can see why we're much too salty uh, to support fish.